Hi there. In this demonstration, I am going to show how you can help your students learn vocabulary by using RemNote to make flashcards. A flashcard is essentially an electronic card that has information on both sides, which can be used to help with memorization. In a language learning setting, flashcards are often used to memorize vocabulary. When you give your students a text to read, it is possible that they will encounter unknown words. By having them create flashcards of these words, you can help them expand their English vocabulary. RemNote has an integrated flashcard feature. That means your students can create flashcards that are integrated with the text they're reading. The flashcards go into the folder or even in the document where they're taking notes about a particular text. To demonstrate how you can create flashcards on RemNote, I will use the text called Elephant Paints Pictures from News and Levels. Level 3 of this news article has difficult words identified at the end for readers. Let's create flashcards for each of these words. On RemNote, go to the folder you want to work in. To access folders, click All Notes on the left, then click Folders. Here, you can see all folders you have created previously. Keep in mind that you can create new folders by clicking Create in bottom left corner, then clicking Folder. The folder you create will show up on the Folders tab in the All Notes menu. Once you're in your folder, you have two options. You may create a new document in that folder to create flashcards of words from a particular text, or you may create flashcards on an existing document in this folder. Let's see how we can create flashcards on a new document. Hover over the title of your folder on the left-hand side, then click the plus sign. This will add an untitled document to the folder. Give it a title. I'll call this Elephant Paints Pictures Flashcards. Now, to create flashcards, simply place your mouse over an empty line below your title and click the plus sign, then click Basic Card. This will add a line to your document that says Front of Card and Back of Card. For the front of the card, let's type our first word, Fetch. On the back, we will type its meaning, which is bring. You may include additional information on the back, such as part of speech of the word. Fetch or bring is a verb in this context, so I'll put V in parenthesis. We're done with this card, so let's create a new one. Simply hit enter or return on your keyboard, create a new line, click the plus sign, and click basic card to repeat the process. Our second word is a piece, which means for one piece. We'll put a piece on the front and its definition on the back. And since a piece is an adverb, I'll also include ADV on the back. You can keep repeating this process to create as many flashcards as you need. I will go ahead and create a flashcard for each word listed at the end of our reading. Keep in mind that you can take notes and create flashcards on the same document. You can start a new line and type regular text to keep notes, then start a new line, change it to basic card by clicking the plus sign and create a flashcard. When you start practicing flashcards, RemNote will ignore plain text and just pick lines formatted as flashcards. Once you have all your flashcards ready, you may start practicing by hovering over the document on the left-hand side of the screen, then clicking the card sign right by the plus sign that says, practice flashcards in this folder. This will show you a new screen where RemNote will randomly select a flashcard, show its front side to you, and let you guess what you put on the back side. In our case, it will show us a word or a phrase and let us guess what it means. You do not have to type your answer. Simply make a guess, then click Show Answer at the bottom. This will reveal the answer and show you some options at the bottom. Depending on how well you did with this card and the option you picked here, RemNote will adjust the next time you will encounter this flashcard. If you pick Easily Recalled, for example, you will not be shown this flashcard for the next four days. So, if you go back and practice the set of cards in that period, you will not see this card. If you pick Forgot, though, you will most likely encounter the same flashcard if you end up practicing this set again on the same day. 
Remnode also shows you some useful information at the top. It shows you how many cards are left in the document and the document which it pulls flashcards from. If you have flashcards prepared in other documents or other folders, you may simply click the title of your document to reveal the drop-down menu and switch to another document to practice flashcards you created on that document. You may also practice flashcards you created in all documents in a particular folder. This is very useful if you have a dedicated folder for a reading class. Simply hover over the folder on the left side, then click the card sign on the right side. This will start a quiz containing flashcards from all documents located in that folder. If you practice flashcards in the entire folder, Remnote will remember your answers and make adjustments on the flashcards it'll ask you. If you easily remember the word, it won't ask that word to you for a while. Remnote's flashcard feature is a very powerful tool to learn new vocabulary. It is a handy feature since you can take notes and create flashcards on the same document. The flashcard feature can be very helpful for your students to learn the meaning of a word and memorize it. I hope this demonstration has been helpful for you and your students.